sweet potato ravioli with sausage and apples coming up next here on the Idea Plate. All right, our raviolis turned out great. I mean, they're beautiful. Really, really happy about this. I thought what I would do is while these are only gonna take six minutes to cook, while they're cooking, I'm gonna show you this beautiful, quick, easy uh, sage brown butter sauce. And we're gonna start with eight tablespoons of um, unsalted butter. I've got my heat on medium. And our butter is just about melted. So now we're gonna add some garlic. This is about two cloves of garlic. Go ahead and be generous with it. It's gonna give it a ton of flavor. We're gonna cook this garlic in the butter for about 60 seconds. And while we do that, it's a good opportunity to go ahead and add a little salt and pepper. Just a pinch, maybe a pinch and a half. Settle down, butter. I think we'll turn the heat down a little bit on there. There we go. And a little cracked pepper. Go ahead and continue to stir. We don't want the butter to burn. Our pasta is up approaching halfway. All right, now that our garlic's been in there for about a minute, let's add some fresh sage. Got some fresh sage that we've minced up. And I'm gonna add probably a good tablespoon. Beautiful. Stir that. And what you'll notice as this butter cooks is it's gonna start to get more of a golden brown color and that's what you're looking for. All right, this is so fragrant. I'm smelling the sage, the garlic. Oh, this smells fantastic. The color is starting to change a little bit. It's getting a little bit more golden, so I'm actually gonna turn the heat down a little bit more. Okay, this sage brown butter sauce is just about done. You can still see through it, but now it's got this beautiful golden color, so we know that's just about done. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat on that. We have just a few seconds left for our pasta. It's almost done. Oh, these look beautiful. Let's hit this with a little bit of our sage brown butter sauce. Okay, let's finish this off with a little bit of fresh shaved Parmesan. And we'll garnish with a sage leaf. There you have it, homemade sweet potato ravioli with apple and sausage stuffing and this beautiful sage brown butter sauce. All right, Luke's on the way in, which means I better hurry up and get a taste before he comes in. Too late. <laughs> All right, grab a fork. Go ahead. I'm taking this one. Here, I'll cut it in half and you can take half. All right, go ahead, give it a try. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's better than last time. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Sage butter is awesome. Apple sausage filling. Pasta is tender. <laughs> okay, well, Luke's gonna eat the whole plate. <laughs> That's okay. Odin wants some, everybody wants some. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this video on how to make this ravioli. <laughs> We're gonna finish this up. Hopefully uh, we'll see you here next time on the Idea Plate. We're good. We're good. Okay. That's really good. When you do this, that means we're not good. So, so are we good? So we're gonna put our steamy. Are we good? Mm. I'm just gonna go. It's so good, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Go ahead, get some. Yeah, that was not good. What was that, YouTube? So that was the motivation for this recipe. Take two.
Thanks. Don't kick the lights. I'm getting a steam. <laughs> it's getting a little loose in the recording. <laughs> okay, stop. Let's finish it.